Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to another episode of Hooked Up Fishing, man. And uh, I think I'm going to be getting down with the get down today. It's, uh, it's going to be my first trip out today with my 100 amp hour lithium battery, man. And uh, we got wind, I heard. But I fished in it before. I just hate, you know, you guys having to deal with the noise. But I'll try to make it happen, man. Looks like everything gonna be popping a whole lot better because now I have more juice in my ride. I got front, back, and side to side. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Let me power up like Power Rangers, man, and get this thing jumped off for y'all. Live scope, hard hitter hand ties. Let's try to make it happen, man. Don't off the camera. Look, boy. I go. Looking for me? Yeah, I go. I hadn't been since that last trip I did out with a uh, fishing with a mission. So I still got this cork set up on here. Hurry up and pull that off. So we're gonna get after him, man. Hopefully, bring y'all some good footage, some good catches, good crappie. I'm gonna start the day off with one of my creature baits. Kind of banged up from that last trip, but. I'm gonna see what that does. Oh, he's over there getting in, y'all. Should have got a good look at that. What I got in that bow, eh? Look at that bow, eh? I'm finally starting off with good amp. I mean, volts. 12.2. I've been starting off with 11 a bunch of days with what I had in there, 11 there. Volts is what I was starting off with, dropping down to 10. I probably was, may not have been getting the full capabilities of my unit, so let's see. Live scope sock. Somebody told me you can get them on Amazon. Oh, here I always hooking y'all up, man. I'm gonna go over here and start off on the brush pile where I got a really big crappie, not really a brush pile tree. And then maybe fish my way out. Reggie told me that uh, all of those brush piles on the lake where I with some real big crappie on it for the past month or so, like in February and March. Fish have moved and look like they may have moved into the river. So hopefully we'll have a good day up in here. I may take away all my wave points today and, and make new wave points, but I know this body of water and I really don't save waypoints and I'm not going to do that anyway until I get this steady cast system on my on my unit. I'm going to go with a steady cast here real soon. Big fish on that tree. 
one really big fish on the top of that tree just like last time. Check this brush pile over here. Like the wind will be blowing back this way on me. A lot of debris in the water, but quite a few fish. Right here. Small crap. Leave him alone. Get over here. And that's the bigger fish. That brush pile is loaded with small fish there. No, it's a tree over here. Usually uh, get a big fish off over here and then. Over here. I'm gonna have to start netting y'all if you don't want to act right. Huh? Yes, sir. <laughs> Look at the head. <laughs> First thing in the morning. You know why you can't see me? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, he was hiding down in there and I went and got him. Got him. This boss man said, man, God duh. Well, that's the way to start the morning off. I like it. I need another one just like that. Having me some fun. I saw how good he was hooked. I had time to play with him. It ain't gonna be super heavy. 1.12. 1.12. Mike done already did his thing. That's a good first fish. Yeah, that tree over here, I seen him down in there. He about the only real, real big one in there. I think, unless another one hiding. There's a brick bush pile over here. Like, coming back in the center right here, there's another one. And that's all I'm doing, is any brush pile I see, fishing it. No?
Yeah, it's deep. It was bass in them lily pads this morning, but I ain't feel like messing with them. Good first fish, y'all. They all beat up, but that's one of my creature baits where I tie plastic into my hand tie. And uh, it's fire. First person ever to do that. Incorporate plastic in the tie. How deep is it over there? Six foot, but that where I hit that brush pile, it's like 10, but that tree come up all the way up to like three foot off the surface. Don't go down in the bottom. They got Peter Poppers in the bottom. All right, let's move on, y'all. Tried and tried to get one more to bump it in there. No dice. It's a big one right there. Massive tree, I promise you that. I'm looking at it. He had it. Yeah, there's no one. He's got to get to a big one. Come up there and nail that. Cut it up, man. Cut it up. Cut it up. Cut it up. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Look at the head. Look at the head on that. <laughs> oh, that man. It's too much fun. I, uh, I put a silver on. And man, hold up. He hit every hard hit of hand time. Put it out there. Somebody stop the press, man. I'm gonna get ready a picture. I'm hog hunting and, and, and uh, I ain't got no gun. <laughs> God. <laughs> hog hunting without a gun. Oh, it's enough. I dropped it down under that tree limb where that big fish was looking at. He came up there and said, Give me that. Mm -mm -mm. I mean, too big. They all like that today. I'm good. Yeah, and he, he got that one. Reggie say the odds was 10 to 1 against you, but you got him. You got. He got a knife, cut the knife out the tree. Oh no, he was cutting him a worm. He was cutting him a bass worm out the tree. Oh yeah, that's a nice fish. He about a foot and a half deep with a cork. So you see the fish on your last scope? No, uh -uh, I don't see him because I just came over here. I was on the right side and he was on the left side. And uh, while he was going on the left side, he pitched up next to this cypress tree where his two trees doubled up together. 
It looks uh -huh. it's nine foot of water where I'm at, but over there where he at, it comes up yeah. to two or three foot. Yeah, okay. And he got a nice oh, he, fish. Oh, he can have, have Today. Yeah, he might, cause it, it means he, he, you know, he checked it out. He didn't, he didn't give up on it. He did it over yeah. there by the dock. Yeah, that's a good yeah. solid fish. It's a darker, darker crappie, and you caught him on a black and white. That look like a male, probably with all that waving. Fanning, where he been fanning in this? Yep. And you caught him on a black and white. That's a black all right. and white. All right. Yeah. That's, oh, that's black and now black and chartreuse, like you said, Reggie. Oh, black and chartreuse. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he gonna work the edges. I'm gonna work the brush pile. We're gonna just we're gonna tag we're gonna tag team him. <laughs> Shoot. Uh, man, yeah, uh, Reggie say what's up, man. Oh, you threw way in now. Oh, he throwing way up in there. I'll just pluck him up out of here. That wasn't no giant, but. I'm plucking them up out of there tight. And they're hugging the bottom, but I'll go in there and get them if I have to. Getting them on that silver right now. Uh, I'm in eight foot of water. There's a lot of structure right here. And those fish are tight up in there. The only way you're gonna get them is with a weed guard. And I make those part here the hand ties with the weed guards on them. That's the only way you're gonna get those fish out of that brush pile like that. I will get hung every now and then, but a lot of times I'm able to, to get up in there and, uh, and still get the fish without uh, having to worry too much about getting hung up. Just that little subtle weed guard that I got on there in front of that hook uh, allows me to get in there and target fish tight and structured. That's not a giant, but that's a good solid fish. Probably a good 12, 14 inch fish. Well, 12, 12, 13 inch fish. 12 and a half, easy. Head to the quarry. I got two 14s earlier. Big pigs earlier. First thing this morning. Missed him, huh? Yeah, it's rough today. I'm just now really stopping at the second spot to fish since I left them over there. I hit, I hit a couple other spots and they just didn't seem responsive. I ain't, I ain't caught a damn thing, man. I've even tried to say, I, I even got to the point where I was like, what the hell is it? I'm going to do a little bass fishing. Right. They were active this morning, the bass and the and lily pads. Yeah, that's, what I, I, that's why I switched over, because I saw them breaking. Yeah. <laughs> Top water frog, they didn't touch it, huh? Yeah, that's exactly what I threw. I threw every damn color I had. Green, yellow, black, brown. Crazy, man. Supposed to be a feed later, but hey, I'm out here enjoying the day, man. I'm going to take it, you know. Take it as it comes. Yeah. I'll, I'll fish one more that way, and then I'll probably fish all the way back that way today because I don't, I don't have a long day. I mean, a short day. I could actually stay and fish today. So they don't feed now. Maybe they'll feed tonight Damn. or before dark. Like I said, man, it's just you know they're unpredictable, man. Especially these rascals, you know. They start yeah, off. Man, I watch your channel, dude. You and uh, there's like two or three other guys. Yeah. That hang around Lucy Bay. That, that uh. I'd rather be in Conroe. The, the water's clear. You know, you got more of a variety on that 1097 bridge. You catch everything. Big Opelousas cat, hybrids, white bass. You know. You gotta get in there and 
and, and bang them up out of there. They want you to, yeah, they want you to get all up in the sticks to get them. Black and chartreuse at the base of the brush pile. Another solid fish. Almost a must nowadays with them stuck in the brush pile like that. Every now and then, you, you know, you can get them without it. Certain areas like Lake Conroe where you're fishing piling, but when you're fishing brush pile, you ain't got live scope, man. You almost handicapped. No, I don't have live scope, man. Yeah, it's it's almost a must doing brush piles, man. I do the installs. You got the money. I got the money. Yeah, I look at people and tell when they got money. Yeah, everybody got money and you can't take it with you, so spend it. Oh, that's what I told my wife. <laughs> I don't have a problem spending my damn money. No, nah, I do the installs, man, and kind of walk people through, show you, you know, the ropes and everything. Do it right what's there. What's the run? 2200 for your, you know, your total unit. <laughs> that bait gone. I put that silver on again. But... Hopefully I'll get more off of this brush pile than the other one. follow it over here and as soon as I got past him another one came and hit it no cop no crappie bite just uh, a little bit of scent spraying it with a little garlic silver and gold that's what I was told know the young man's name right there but he's interested in live scope now I showed him my unit while we were out here on the water he seen that it's a game changer got one 2.2 though. Yeah man. He over in vertical jigging. It's a little old brush pile of seven foot of water and it come up to about five foot. I eight? No six. Six. I threw two you know decent fish. I got them on silver mainly but I got one on black and chartreuse I think. But I've been catching them all on silver. I got a 
blue. Yeah, he, he caught his, he said on silver and blue too. Yeah, that black and green, that and black and chartreuse. No, oh, those two good. colors. Yeah. Yeah, man. He, well, it's, it's long overdue. <laughs> 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 He came yeah, over here man. on this brush pile, showed him a lot of love. He said he got about four off of this one pile. Oh, no, I got okay, off okay. of the one pile? Yeah. Mm -hmm. He got about six off of this one pile. Mm -hmm. Wow, wow, man. Usually you don't get that many off one pile. No. Oh, they active over here. Yeah. There's been nothing but bait fish coming through. Oh, they been yeah. going cuckoo. Okay, okay, shit. That sounds good there, man. Yeah, man. Well, well I'm going to let y'all fellas get it, man. I'll just call and see, see how many you got. All right. I'll, I'll give you a final tally once I get in. Alright, buddy, y'all take it easy. Okay, alright. at that fish I said forget it it's been a tough day they want to feed at the end of the day it's crazy they want to wait to the end of the day to feed Time to fill your quota now. Let's get keep a fish. Get out of here. Eleven. Ah, just fill the quota now. Got the hogs earlier. Now I just need to pluck out some keepers. Thank <laughs> you. 
see no more on this pile so I'm gonna leave that's how I'm gonna do it I'm just gonna hit one or two fish on each pile on the way in because it's not a lot of fish on each pile just that's what kind of fishing it's gonna be Arrow got on a pile where he hit multiple fish but that ain't been the case for me not today most piles give me one or two fish that's it Mostly one. But if I gotta adjust to that, that's what I'm gonna do. Not a whole lot of love, no, not today. Hard work. Perseverance. All right, let's see if we can pull this off and pluck a few off of here that they wasn't feeding early today. We'll try to get right over the top of them before I drop on them. Wind, get the wind dead in my face over there. Looking at it. Oh, he looked at it long enough. That's what we're gonna have to do, y'all. Make the quota <laughs> at the end of the day because they didn't want to feed all day. So here we go. We gotta make it happen. Put me a buoy up. Got a nice stringer already. Big fish. That fish was down in the bottom of the pile. It's hugging, hugging the bottom, man. Tight to cover. I don't know what it is. They just said they came off of the main lake and came into the river here a bayou. So, either way. It prepared me for next time I come out here. Which they may be different the next time I come out here. Using a crappie bite now instead of uh, garlic. And they're down in the bottom of the structure. Get him to look at it and then get him to take it. Suckers are buried down in the bottom of the tree, man. But a good solid fish. And it's time for me to go to work after all that bull coning all day with fish that don't want to feed.
Hopefully, maybe this will be the most I get off of one brush pile. Windy conditions, like I told y'all, keep your nose to the wind and approach the brush pile. Find the fish and then bring your jig to them. And these fish are pausing, looking at it, and I just don't move it. I don't jig it or nothing. I just freeze like I'm scared, and they smash me. Maybe I'll get them to feed, and then some of them will come up instead of staying down. They stand down and see that big old girl. Almost through it. Ripped his lip. End of the day madness over here. Oh no, 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 no. Yo, Reg. What's the new cop, man? I'm in the middle of a feeding frenzy. If I keep going, I'm gonna limit out. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> At, just now, they ain't been all day. And I finally, I spoke to LBG, uh, you know, that been him all the time I've been waving at, and I didn't know it, but I went on, you know, I didn't, today we was crossing paths, so I, I went over and shook his hand. I said, Alton, he said, LBG, I said, oh, okay. You know, I said, Reggie them been hollering, saying you be out there, and I've been watching you, I'm subscribed. He said, yeah, I've been watching you kill and flounder. So we chopped it up for a few minutes. And he said they just turned on, you know, oh, but he, yeah. he was leaving. He said they ain't bit all morning. And uh, shoot, he right. I came back over here where I seen them and they wouldn't feed. Uh -huh. They try to kill it if you pass it by. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you, waited, you waited them out? Yeah, I just waited them out. What? what? Oh! <laughs> Every time I drop. <laughs> God, dog. Uh, hey, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I gotta get a water splash. Yeah, you are. Hey, hey, he was quick to the boat. <laughs> he was quick to the boat. No, no, he know that net. Talking about a net. I ain't net nothing unless you know I feel it. I gotta net it. I net it one today. One, I net it. No, he said it got too hot. Yes, sir. Yeah, I saw you go under the bridge. I'm, I'm over here by the marina. Are oh, you on the other side? Yeah. Oh, okay. I just came from up that way, you know, and I they kind of they stopped on me at that spot I was on. So I came this way and try to see if they were over here where I told you to start and I can 
come show you this other brush pile in the back corner that you may be able to fish uh, out of the wind. Oh, okay. It's another brush pile that's tucked away. A lot of people don't know about it behind the island. Okay. You want me to come back that way? Yeah, well, I can show you this brush pile. Okay. All right. He didn't hit it. Small. Yeah, but you can see them. Oh, yeah. Okay. And then. I thought that was a better fish. Yeah, this is a big. This structure looks new to me. A tree that's laid over. You don't want to cast to it. You want to always drop straight down vertical. That way you don't get hung. Yeah, I always drop straight down. Okay. Because you're fishing structure that's got limbs and stuff. You ain't gonna always see all the limbs. And there's one even better up ahead. But I'm just trying this one first. There's another one. I'm gonna kind of lined up with this bush, but out here, yes, sir. there's another pretty big one. Brush pile. Yeah. By being able to just stay in position and put the jig right there, all the difference in the world, man. Look at the head on that. <laughs> It out, man. Look at here. Just figuring it out. <laughs> you know why you can't see me? <laughs> I told you. Because that's a slam. I told you. <laughs> now you see. Put the jig on the fish and watch him hit it. Boom. That's fishing. That's yeah. fishing. That's that's loving it. That's too cool right there, right? That's loving it. That's why it. I figured you'd get out of the wind back here and you'd be able to do it right here. So wrapping it up, y'all. Top dollar got him some lunch. I think that's 17. Good hard fought day of fishing. Got Jason on a fish. Got food for the house. Got a little bit of good footage for y'all. Wind didn't get too terribly bad.